Hey viewers, this is Serena from LeanOnSerena.com and I wanted to briefly come to you guys with a mindset challenge. I've been incorporating a lot of mindset stuff in my new programs that I've launched in the past four weeks and it's just done a lot for clients and I see them kind of approaching things differently, which is the whole idea of my program. So a client of mine just sent me this Healthy Habits newsletter from the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. We're going to just review this real quick, okay? So negative self-talk talk example number one. I've never done it before, okay? If you say that to me during a session, that's perhaps an indication that maybe you're a little nervous to try it, but if you're next to me, we're gonna give it a go, okay? Because I'm here, I'm helping you, I'm coaching you through it. So the positive spin I challenge you to, to take on that is to say to yourself, it's an opportunity to learn something new, okay? I always am bringing new stuff to my, my sessions, so think of it as an opportunity to grow, become stronger, again, take a different positive angle or approach at fitness. Uh, negative self-talk number two, it's too complicated. Uh, like formatting a strength training program is too complicating. You know, if you say that to yourself, yeah, then it's probably going to end up being too complicating, right? Utilize your resources, take the positive spin, and say, I'll tackle it from a different angle. All right? Uh, negative self-talk number three, I don't have the resources. If you say that to me, again, I'm going to list off seven different things for you to try. Check out online, check out youtube.com, check out Fit TV, check out Netflix, check out your library. Every major fitness magazine has a fantastic demo page on their website, okay? So if you follow women's health, if you follow oxygen, whatever it is, men's health, just add the .com and I guarantee you they're gonna find, you're going to find some demo videos. So positive spin, necessity, of, necessity is the mother of invention, okay? Be creative. Um, negative self-talk. Number four, there's not enough time, okay? We all know. We all know there's only so many hours in a day. You have kids, you have family, you have a boyfriend, you're planning a wedding, you're, I don't know, moving, something, okay? If you say that to yourself, you're creating barriers, you're not gonna get it done. So reformat, reposition yourself, and say, let's reevaluate some priorities, okay? Put out the fires closest to you. And my accountability coach tells me that all the time, and I probably should take some more of my own advice on that one, but it's the tr it's, I can't even, I can't speak the truth enough. Like, enough. That is, hands down, the best piece of advice um, I've been given. Okay, negative self-talk number, what up to five? There's no way it will work. You know, getting up at 4.30 a.m. is never going to work. I'm never going to get there. If you want it bad enough, you're going to make it happen. So you're going to get up, right? I say that to people all the time. So positive spin, I can try to make it work. As long as you can say at the end of the day, I give it my best shot, I tried my hardest, then that's all that can be done. And that is good enough, okay? Um, number six, it's too radical a change. Okay, a lot of people are scared to change. A lot of people are scared like crazy to take or to have change come into their life. But change brings on new opportunities and new things. So I really challenge you to kind of pass, get past that. And again, positive spin on this one. Let's take a chance. Take a chance, okay? Negative self-talk. Um, number seven, I believe. No one bothers to tell me. Okay, maybe this could be applied to a work situation or in a friend's group. Um, you know, if you feel maybe left out of a project or maybe Friday night plans, you can uh, say, I'll see if I can open up the channels of communication. You know, be the one to step up. Be the one to say, hey, you know, I heard about Friday. I didn't, was wondering why, you know, what was up? Why did I get the invite? You know, clear it out. The second, the second you decide to um, address it and approach it, then the quicker it's done. You don't have to worry about it. You're not, you're not dwelling on it. It's not just sitting on your shoulder. Last one, I'm not going to get any better. I dare you to say this to me in a session, okay? I dare you. Positive spin on this, I'll give it another try. Heck yeah, you're going to give it another try. You're going to keep trying until you do it. And if you have the right resources and you have, if you decide to take action, then everything's going to line up perfectly for you. So again, I challenge you this week and maybe for the rest of the month and even the rest of the year. This is a lifelong uh, piece of advice here. Take a positive spin on anything negative in your life. I have done it for myself these past few months. It's done wonders for me. I've worked with other people and I've seen the same thing happen for them. So again, challenge, take a positive spin. Things will happen if you want it bad enough. Good luck. Email me with questions, comments, concerns. Lean on Serena at yahoo.com. Have a good day.